back. I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful day with those temperatures up into the 70s and the 80s. Even the sun came out to play. We saw some mostly clear skies. Expect some increasing clouds tonight in north central Montana. Helena will be a little bit clearer with those mostly sunny skies over there as well. Now we are going to see some chances of some thunderstorms and some rain showers through this next period, but a warming trend still continues through Monday. We'll see those temperatures kind of taking a cool down for Tuesday, but if you notice some of that haze and smoke from the wildfires, you weren't wrong. There is smoke from the Canadian wildfires, but that should diminish through tonight, and you can take a look at our current air quality a little bit um, iffy up in Haver and even over in Malta and kind of making its way over into the eastern portion of the state by Miles City. Now, those conditions are going to improve. They have definitely improved. I mean, earlier Cut Bank was in that moderate range, but that smoke should continue to pull through, especially with those winds kind of helping to speed things along. Now, taking a look at your Doppler radar, Pretty dry across the area. Now we are going to continue to see some of those chances for precipitation making their way up. And you can see some more precipitation up in Canada that will begin to streamline down to us. And this is all because of your upper level patterns. That upper level ridge that has been hanging over the area and continuing to push east is still hanging over. We do have a dip in that wave that will cause some of those isolated showers and thunderstorms that we'll see tonight and tomorrow. And then a little trough moving its way into the area as well, which will cause even more instability in the atmosphere um, and in our surface patterns. And that will cause more chances for precipitation to pop up for Tuesday in the middle of this upcoming week. And then we'll also see um, some windier conditions and those temperatures taking a brief cool down. Now we still do have a flood watch that is in effect for north central and central Montana, mostly affecting those areas, those little streams and creeks um, below and near the Little Belt, Highwood and Big Snowy Mountains. Um, this could cause some difficulty travel over some roads if those streams and creeks overflow. So just keep that in mind. This will continue through Monday morning. Now taking a look at your future track, we're going to see a little bit of increased cloud Cover some chances of some isolated showers moving through. Lewistown could get a little bit of a thunderstorm around 9 p.m. tonight, and we are going to see that precipitation continuing to move southeast throughout the state, and then a little bit more precipitation popping up for tomorrow on Monday with a lot of chances for those thunderstorms to continue to streamline through the area. And then as we hit Tuesday, that's when a big, bigger system of that precipitation is going to move through. So definitely, definitely expect some rain and maybe even some upper elevation snow for that Tuesday area. We could see some more of that precipitation continuing throughout the rest of the week. Now taking a look at that wind gust tracker, a little bit breezy on the Rocky Mountain front. Those winds will kind of continue to die down, popping over to the eastern portion of the state. Briefly, up to 20 mile per hour winds. Expect a windier day for Monday, up to 30, maybe even 40 mile per hour winds at times, but they should kind of die down. Um, for that Tuesday night um, and then kind of streaming around that 20 mile per hour range. So not super windy, but definitely a little bit breezy. Now taking a look at your lows for tonight into the 40s and the 50s, partly cloudy for north central Montana, a little bit clearer over in that Helena area and expect those highs to once again go back up into the 70s, near 80s for some mostly sunny skies tomorrow with that chance of rain and even thunderstorms. Um, and then we'll see those temperatures taking a dip.